All right, Pez fans, thanks for tuning in. Good to see you back. So we are a few months now into our long-term testing of uh, Campagnolo's gravel-specific Levante wheels. And we are now about to share with you our experiences so far riding these wheels in a bunch of different locations from a few different riders over the past summer. Our test crew has included myself, where I was at the official launch in uh, California for the Nova Eroica California and spent a very long and tiring eight hours in the saddle. In fact, you can see my video of some of that ride on our YouTube channel right now. Um, I was lucky enough and able to capture uh, one of my Campagnolo compatriots, Arian, descending the final 25 kilometers of this event from a giant mountain beside the Pacific Ocean all the way to the coast. And thank God for him, I got onto his wheel and he uh, towed me all the way to the finish line because I was pretty toasted by that time. Also, our own Dr. Stephen Chung has been riding these wheels all season long at uh, various gravel events across Canada. And now, not just as a competitor, but also basically doing real guy rides where he's bike packing, he's riding out of his back door in his local area, he's done some events. So it's really the kind of riding that I think most riders are probably doing and using these wheels for. So we've got some really good feedback from Stephen on how the wheels perform for him under a lot of different conditions. So he will be checking in uh, and on the desktop version of this review, you can see his comments and, and experiences from different rides that he's done over the season. And finally, I wanted to talk to somebody who has um, a lot more experience than I do actually even riding on uh, the gravel and in a, in a, at a much higher level of competition. I talked to ex-road pro Nathan Haas, who is now a professional gravel rider. He's racing the UCI World Series of Gravel and has done a bunch of top level events this year on the Levante wheels, including Unbound. He has some great stories from that. But I wanted to talk to him specifically about how these wheels perform uh, and, and get a little deeper dive into wheels specifically made for gravel and how these are, are really well suited to the task. I am, I'm at the Nova Eroica in California doing an immersive test experience on Campanulo's freshly launched Levante wheel set. So here's the bike I'm riding. This is what uh, what we've got set up here. I am riding the Rodeo Labs Flanimo 5.0 steel frame gravel bike, all road bike. It's a 54 centimeter top tube that I've got. Fits me perfectly. We fit it up a, a nice stem, set the saddle height. It is everything. So regardless of material, regardless of geometry, if that thing fits you properly, you're probably gonna have a good ride. At least I am, and I am on this one. But the real reason I'm down here is to uh, test ride the brand new Levante wheel set. And these are a pretty cool wheel set. So the big news on these things, it's, it's Campagnolo's real entry into a fully dedicated gravel wheel set. This wheel set fits into the lineup alongside the Bora road wheels and the Shamal all road wheel set. The Levante is an all gravel dedicated wheel set. Some interesting things about this thing, probably the biggest and most notable thing is the internal width of the rim is 25 millimeters, which means that it's really set properly to take on a really wide tire. But these things can take up to, I think, 70 millimeter tires if you really want to. Uh, the external wheel, it's 30, just over 30 millimeters wide. So it's a wide set. In terms of aerodynamics, it's actually gonna work pretty well with most tire setups. It lets your tire sit better into the rim bed pattern so that you're just more better equipped for wider tires, better grip, and, and lower tire pressures. But one thing that stood out for me is the entire wheel set weighs 1,485 grams, which is super light for any wheel set. So they're all carbon, they're made by Campagnolo, so it's full in-house production. Uh, spokes, are, it's a tr traditional spoke pattern. The bearings are cup and comb bearings, which allow you to adjust the tension and actually maintain the bearings, which is nice. The rear wheel spoke pattern is actually an offset layup which allows space for Campanule's Eckhart 13 speed, one by group set we're running, and allows placing your wheel in the center of the stays. So graphics on these are actually laser etched into it. They're not decals, they're not gonna peel off, they're actually gonna stay on this wheel for as long as you have this wheel. Price tag on these is just under 1900 US, so that is, put some, somewhere between the mid-range or the low-end range of carbon wheels and the super high-end stuff, which is nice. So it gives you an opportunity to upgrade your bike without totally breaking the bank. 
My initial impressions are impressive. How about that? Uh, I have not had any problems on the ride today. Now, we've been riding, I would say we've done about 20, 25 kilometers of actual gravel, hard pack, off-road stuff. And uh, the wheels for me have performed really nicely. No problems at all. I know this thing's going to get me through this. And uh, I'm about to get back on the road and see how it goes. All right. Stay tuned for more. You know what some of you might be thinking? Enough from you, Pez. What does the guy who really rides gravel know what to say about these things? All right, so here comes uh, some Q&A I did with Nathan Haas uh, about the wheels specifically. This was now just recently we, we talked online and uh, I had some questions for him. Here's what he had to say. Nathan Haas, thank you for joining us from somewhere in Europe to talk about Campagnolo's new Levante wheels. I joined you and met you at La Roca, Nova Roca in California. You've been racing these all season. Uh, at a number of pretty high profile gravel events. And I really wanted to hear what you had to say. Uh, so the Levante wheels, it's Campagnolo's first dedicated gravel wheel set. You know, why a dedicated gravel wheel set? Why not work with something that's already been in the market? Well, it's a good question. Um, you know, why, why gravel specific when they already have such an amazing wheel in the Shamal. Um, but when you really break it down, the, the specific needs um, of a gravel wheel are a little bit different from an all-rounder wheel and the biggest thing that uh, always comes to mind for me is the the inner rim width um, moving from a 19 to a 25. It's uh, the best analogy is actually just using the ice cream cone metaphor you know if you have an ice cream cone that's quite uh you know, short at the top or the opening or the circumference of the ice cream cone is not so wide the ice cream ball is going to sit on top of it really and it's going to be quite unstable uh so when you're actually wired in the circumference of the top of that ice cream cone and the same tire sits on top the tire itself is actually a lot more stable and when you look at the physics of gravel uh, you spend very little time with the bike actually tipped over the bike stays quite vertical so it's quite important to make sure that the tire is not actually rotating on that rim as much uh, which also means that less of the sideball is exposed to sharp things uh, it means that the tire is actually working with the wheel as opposed to sort of two separate entities. Um, so I think, you know, the Levante's first major point in being a specific gravel wheel is having the wider inner width. Uh, but then the second point is that the, the G3 spoke pattern, which has become something that's so famous and, um, you know, synonymous with Campagnolo. Uh, one of the challenges if you're riding a G3 spoke pattern and you're on gravel, which means often you're actually quite a ways from any major town, any major service center. Uh, it's quite a hard thing to true yourself when you're out in the middle of the forest. So if you do happen to damage your wheel, it shouldn't happen anywhere. I've, I've yet to actually bend, dint, or crack any of the wheels that I've been using. But if you did happen to do that, the G3 spoke pattern is a little bit harder to actually fix. You need a specialist to do so. So the Levante with the traditional spoke pattern definitely makes that uh, challenge much less challenging. Uh, you'll be able to find a spoke to fit that, a nipple to fit that, and you'll actually basically have anyone that knows how to just true a basic wheel be able to bring your wheel back to life. So one of the cool things about the Levante wheel is it's actually been engineered so that the wheel actually is almost a little bit vertical compliant but only at the contact point. So if you do hit a rock or a sharp bump, there's actually going to be some almost suspension within the wheel when it hits these bumps. So it makes the ride feel off the wheel very cushiony, but then at the same time, there's, there's really very little tilt because of the traditional spoke pattern. There's more spokes, there's a, a, tighter, a tighter bill. So you're getting this sort of like vertical compliance Point of compression but you're not getting any kind of like rocking through the wheel as that's happening um, and you can actually see that in video in very slow motion you can actually see that the rim is actually just coming in on itself just a little bit but without any kind of deformity so it flexes straight back to where it needs to be so there's been a lot of engineering done onto this wheel and I think a lot more than probably meets the eye um, and probably a lot more than we could ever imagine to actually build a wheel that's got all of these elements um, but then also one of the nicest things is that the, the Levante is quite a bit lighter than any other group set that you can possibly use from Camp Agnola. So it's, it's a fantastic climbing wheel for descending in anything technical. It's superior to anything else that uh, Camp Agnolo has for gravel. Um, it's a pure all-rounder, but it actually seems to have improved nearly every point of every wheel. 
Um, my favorite thing of all with Campact Nala is that you don't have to use any uh, tape for the rim to make it tubeless. The wheel is completely tubeless ready from the start. And I think uh, to have built a, a set of hoops laced onto a hub at coming in, I think around 1400 grams for the set <laughs> and to be completely tubeless ready without any seal needed, I think, I think they've done something pretty special. Fantastic. Have you had any technical issues at all? I mean, you know, you've been on these things for a season of gravel racing. You know, this is this is not a Toyota Hilux. This is a this is a high end Italian car. Um, so when it comes to the hubs, I, I like to actually have them serviced, you know, semi semi regularly. Um, and it still has the cup and cone uh, bearing style. So it, it's a very easy thing to open up and to re grease. Um, I've not actually had any problems because I service them you know, quite regularly, but I'm also a real stickler for performance and I like to have them clean and running as smooth as possible. But um, it's very simple to actually take out a bearing to clean it, to re-grease it. Uh, and I learned how to do it actually online using some of Campagnolo's uh, instructional videos. So the resources are there for anyone that actually wants to do it. Um, it doesn't take any specialist tool to do it. It just takes some Allen keys and some wrenches that everyone should have. Um, in terms of the durability of the hardware, there is absolutely no problem. But there's, as with everything, the more you service things, the longer they will last. And if you don't service it, um, you know, don't be surprised if down the line there is, you know, a fatal problem from something being worn through or worn out. All right. Well, there you have it. Our take so far on Campagnolo's gravel-specific Levante wheel set. Nice set of wheels. Definitely worth checking out. These are available online uh, at campiola.com. I'll put a link down below. Uh, you can also find them at some of your best dealers around town and around the globe. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like it and subscribe it because you know, as we say in YouTube land, it helps the channel. <laughs> it actually does. The YouTube algorithm really likes it if we get more likes. I, I like it too. It's good for us. So thanks. All right. Peace out. Take care. Keep the rubber side down. And if you have comments or suggestions about, uh, hey, what about the channel or about these wheels? You've got a different experience. Put them down below. Send us a message. I would love to hear what you have to say. All right. Thanks for watching.